Good morning, all of you students. Today we will deal with another poem that is very important part of your uh, portion. Rain on the room. The name Rain on the room. The poet uh, written this is Coates Kinley. Name of the poet is Coates Kinley. He is a very good writer uh, in his poems. Uh, he used to talk about his love towards the nature and the sources of the nature. This poem, The Rain on Roof, talks about the poet's varied reactions to the sound of the raindrops falling on the roof of his home. In this poem, the poet uh, expresses his feeling when he found that the raindrops are falling on the on his roof. These raindrops created an imagination that uh, that was of his past when uh, he used to be with his mother and he started remembering his mother and uh, those happy days that he has spent and and so he he has written this poem about expressing us what incident has happened at that time when he heard the sound of the rain falling on his roof. In this poem, he says that the drop at night, the drop, the raindrops, okay, the drops, the raindrops, the raindrops at night are like tears shed by the sad dark night. These raindrops are like tears, means just like the sky is also crying. Why it is crying? Because, because it is also remembering his old memories of the past and his old people who is not here with him to spend the same time that he had happened, that he, that he has spent in the past. Okay. Here. Yeah, he says that the raindrops at night are like tears. Means these raindrops are remembering the old past days of that, uh, that uh, rain that had occurred many years back. He also, he loves to lie in the bed. And what the poet loves the most during the raindrops fall on the roof. The poet loves to lie in bed and hear the uh, rain falling on the roof of his room and why he, he loves this why he loves to be on the, uh, the bed and to um, hear the raindrops falling on the roof of his roof because he gets back the sweet memories of the past because these raindrops take them take him the poet to the memories of the past where where the and where the memory was very pleasing and very interesting and he starts remembering his about his mother which is um, who is not with him now and uh, and uh, many years back when his mo mother was with him he has spent a very happy moment of the rain falling with his mother with his mother in the in his house and that memories were again repeating uh, in front of his eyes when the same incident, the same raindrops were falling on his roof. Okay. He says that the sound of rain drops helped him to fall asleep. Means this sound of the raindrop help him to fall asleep. Means these raindrops make him feel sleepy and he falls asleep. And at that time, these raindrops, uh, due to these raindrops, the, uh, due to the sound, he starts dreaming. He starts dreaming and it gives him a sweet dream of the past memories. He also, he has memories and in these memories, he sees his mother talking to him, spending time with him and in these memories, he loved talking to his mother, spending time with his mother because now mother is not with him and he is missing him very much in that particular moment. 
and in the last line he has memories of his loving mother who would put them to sleep and at that time he feels like his mother is with him when the raindrops fall on the roof he feels like mother is with him and he and sorry his, and her mother is putting her means putting the poet into sleep just feels like mother is is standing with him he is also enjoying the raindrops falling on his this poem is very emotional poem and in many incidents in our life is casually casually many incidents of our life remember us our past incidents just like our school when we see our school we starts remembering about the incidents that we have spent in the past time in the school the happy memories of the school just like the same here the rain drops also uh, memorize starts uh, gives a memory to the poet about the past incident that he had uh, enjoyed in the past with his with his mother okay here some uh, meanings that is given in the poem and you should know what they refers to and because it, it is a part of your question answer so i am here discussing about the meanings of these words that is given here first of all humid shadow what the word humid shadow means humid shadow means the dark clouds which were full of water humid shadow shadow means what we say that when the clouds appears it is very dark dark outside so dark humid shadows means the dark clouds which are full of water steady spheres steady spheres are the means the sky means the sky at night time which is full of stars means it is the sky at night time which is full of stars this is steady spheres bliss what is the meaning of bliss bliss means just to give the blessing blessing means when our elder bless us okay next a thousand of dreamy fancies into the busy being start the people starts having very sweet dreams this line simply means that the people start having very sweet dreams a thousand recollections have been their air thread into book when people are asleep means when people is in means they are in sleep the memories of the past comes back into their mind and in the form of dream means when their memories come into mind it is in the form they think that it is a dream but they start on recreating their imaginations which they have uh, observed in the past time these these are the parts of your question answer you will easily means actually the poem is very short and you can easily understand it the main motive of the poem i have discussed here and you will find it easy to understand the poem if you will read it with yourself